man. What did I do to piss you off? Your lamentable leadership allowed the Madonna to leave when we needed her talents to travel to the telepathic realm. Mantis had good reason to stay behind. We just need to get Nikki and get the hell out so we can find her again. Your tenuous tactics trust too much to fortune. Can you confidently convince me your meager measures may amply manage this mission? Yes. Absolutely. Wise words. Sure and measured. But beheld by my bemused misgivings, your demeanor differs distinctly in direction from my more willful ways. Maybe we can meet in the middle then. Yes. An oath! Will you own an oath to operate with greater aggression? To give gravitas to gravid seasons of your soul and struggle not to stand on destiny's icy flows? Sure, man. Whatever it takes. Then assert it. I swear I'll be a good leader. That'll be decisive and... and uh, that I won't let Manus do whatever she wants. I stand partially reassured. That's good enough for me. So, how is... Moore, are you okay letting Mantis fight the church alone out there? She won't fight. She'll focus on evacuating people. Maybe they can all hide in the caves. So she's just gonna let the church take over her homeworld? Mantis would tell you that people matter more than the planet. And she knows that the church won't stop coming until we rescue Nikki. You have great confidence in this celestial Madonna. I take it Groot didn't reach Cosmo? No dice. The tree is persistent. He will keep trying. He was the most convinced we could bring you back, you know. I don't know if it's optimism or stubborn, but it works for him. That explains why we ain't been able to reach Cosmo. If you don't answer it, they'll vaporize us. I will handle this communication. All yours, buddy. Deceased wife and daughter are with me. To thank the matriarch for the gift. May the promise be fulfilled. You are clear to land on the spaceport. rallies regiments while we wait whistling in the wings landing as fast as I can go what the flark great cocoon boy thinks he's a butterfly now he is a man of action Let's just hope that he can keep the church busy while we look for Nikki. Didn't think you'd be able to bluff your way through security muscles. I am quite adept at deception. We're gonna need more than that to get to the Continuum Cortex and rescue Nikki. Especially with Golden Boy jumping ship. Should we, like, try to find him? Time is running out. We cannot lose focus if we are to save the girl. Drax is right. Let's just hope Warlock can do a bit of damage on his side. Let's do this! Time to save Nikki! Welcome. 
Welcome, travelers. Have you come to witness the fulfillment? The what now? The realization of the Matriarch's promise. The beginning of a new world. Weren't you fetid and clear to land here? What? Of course we were. How are you not aware of the fulfillment? Something is wrong. These heretics must be stopped! Attack! Trick is to defeat them before they defeat you. Appreciate the help, big guy. Better pray the new world comes without death or pain.
interfere, because I'm going to kill him for flarking up this spaceport. They have been very busy redecorating. All the more reason for us to get to the Cortex and find Nikki. If the promise is to be realized here, Converted will be flocking in to witness it. Are we the only new arrivals? We must be late. find the girl. How do we sever her connection with Magus? We don't. The cocoon boy ain't around to suck it up afterward. We'll just have to reason with her. Of ships patrolling. Scott! Cosmos Towers shut down. That's because it's never been dark before. You do realize some of the guys shooting at us were nowhere security? This does not bode well. Dog. Never was the Mutt's biggest fan, but we could have used the backup telepath. This mission is about saving Nikki. It'll be a real shame if Cosmo bought into the promise, but like we said in Lamentis, if we cure her, we cure everybody. What kind of promise could they offer a dog anyway? A nice game of fetch. Exactly. We just gotta have faith he's okay. Really, Peter? Faith? There does appear to be an accessory in store here. <laughs> kinda dreading what we're gonna see in the marketplace. The thing we saw when we flew in. Yeah, but it'll be up close. Nowhere really stunk sometimes, but... Flark! Over there! There's so many of them. I thought most nobodies would have rejected the promise. Everyone wants something they can't have. Yeah, but... You're right, Rocket. The people who lived here were rough. I once saw someone beat someone else to a pulp because they gave them a compliment. No way they'd willingly join up. A sword to the throw can be very convincing. So can the promise. They got Flark faith batteries everywhere. Just like on Hal's Hope. Perhaps they have built another giant ray gun inside the Continuum Cortex. Siphon faith from multiple worlds at once? Is that even possible? The energy ain't filling these batteries. It's moving away from them. So they're powering something. Sure looks like it. I had a contact here. Rotations ago. You did? Was it Blurf? No, no, no. Shut up and puts, maybe? Whoa, 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 whoa. Cat free. He always gave Groot the creeps.
didn't work. Clark, I'm going in. What about the fanatics? I'll toast them if I see them. We're the only ones who can do this, right? Clear back here, Quill. Looks like you're gonna have to yank a chunk free from this side, though. Gamora, you should be able to get your sword in there now. Give me a boost. Let's hope it holds. This looks sturdy enough for an anchor. Sure, just tell me where. Oh, Scott! Not Mantlos! <sighs> Look at her! This is personal, Quill. Peter, let's go! I know how much you love this dive. It was the one spot in this whole Flarkin galaxy where a guy could feel safe. I mean, except for the bar brawls and the security raids and the bounty hunters. We'll drink to it later. Right now, we've got to keep moving. When we are done here, we will need to tell a Rhapsodist about these adventures. Katathian lore. This will be an epic tale. Okay, okay. Gotta make a passage here. There has been no sign of Goldie Bronze since he left from our ship. Adam Warlock. It might be splattered somewhere across the lower city. And what do we need the Golden Boy for, anyways? We were doing fine without him. I was not fine. Magus was devouring my soul. Your memory is suspect. Warlock's stronger than any of us, and he's got a pretty good reason to hate Raker. So you buy his ripped my soul in two story. Just saying, if anybody stands a chance going toe to toe with Raker, it's him. And we're gonna need the Grand Unifier out of the way if we want to stop this ritual. Throw the meat into the meat. Let's keep it down. They don't know we're here. Whoa. The Emporium used to be right here. Did the church destroy it? Doubt it. The Collector probably blasted out of here at the first sign of trouble. Before the first sign. The Collector's supposed to be able to see the future. Oh yeah? Never saw me coming, that's for sure. Had no idea I'd bust Root out of there. Oh. Oh. Dropping like flies soon enough. <laughs> Incoming attack! Have I saved your butt now? like a dead end for some more than others looks like the church is trying to keep us out of there that's not gonna work Careful, Peter Quill. Guys, look down. It's an awful lot of light. You're thinking it's the full Flarkman, ain't you? But it could just be runoff from the cables. Whatever these whack jobs are up to, they need a lot of juice. Perhaps this is how they powered their fleet to reach Lamentus. Nah, the Cortex could... Nikki had Warlock's Soul Stone in her hand. What if it's fused there and Raker's trying to remove it? <laughs> like he did with Goldilocks? Didn't work all that well the first time. The girl may have sensed the evil in the stone and insisted they try again. Or she's outlived her usefulness and Raker wants the stone's power for himself. Regardless, we must reach the Undercity to find the girl and stop whatever they are doing. And we'll have to be ready for them to try and st stop us. The burdened ones will be prepared to die in order to bring their loved ones back to life. Pretty ironic if you think about it. Our level of cooperation is invigorating. We have become a formidable team. Yep, sure have, Drax. We just one big happy flark and family. We can 
doing with that garbage? She's not garbage. Behold the pot fire! The guardians of the galaxy, save the believers and alert the grand unifier. The fulfillment must not be stopped. That's it. We finally snapped. Good? Never better. Yep, definitely not good. Gamora, wait, hold on a sec. Why? Some more children can be sacrificed in the name of Rager's flogged up church. Of course not, just... Just what, Peter? If you had just let me finish this on the temple ship, we wouldn't be here. They wouldn't be here. I know Raker brings back bad memories. This is about Nikki. And what men like Raker and Thanos do to girls like her. Like me. My sister. If I had just been better at protecting Nebula, maybe... Maybe she... Whoa. What? Nebula's dead? How? 
By who? Tell me, so I can find him and shake his protecting hand. By me. You killed your sister? She is the one you saw in the Matriarch's Promise. That's how I knew it was a lie. The nebula I knew had been twisted into a hateful, vengeful monster thing. One who would never stop unless I stopped her. So I did. I just never expected to survive. Why didn't you say something? It's not exactly a conversation started. Hi, I'm Gamora. I murdered my sister. Can we be friends? Of course we can't. How can you be friends with a monster? Why would you want that on your team? A team I actually kind of enjoyed being on, all things considered. Well, uh, I hate Nebula, so I actually would have. What? I'm just saying it don't change nothing. Actually, it changes everything. The most deadly woman in the galaxy just admitted she loves us. <laughs> you did. You said you were in love with us right after the part about killing your sister. I said I enjoyed your company. That is the Katathian definition of love. Like. I I'll give you like. C can we just move on? Agreed. That's about all the love fest I can take. We accept you, Gamora Zenburi. Pretty sure we're married now. This is excruciating. All right, I'm pretty sure we've all caught our breath. Let's say we go stop a nut job cult leader. Yes.
this many goons. With access to the Cortex, who knows how many reserve forces they can bring in here. We gotta shut it down! Let's get to the bridge. Cosmos Tower is the quickest way. We should be prepared in case the Grand Unifier arrives. I'm more than ready. Too wide to cross. Maybe we can bridge the gap. Drax? I have been eager to topple something over. Really? A fate force field? If we can find the power source, we should be able to turn it off. Let's get looking then. Kid in the ritual thing? I could not miss him. You think the church did that to his head? Or was the poor sucker born like that? That's it, Peter. Let's go. We need to get out of here before Raker shows up. Alright, get ahead! Let's book it! That was not a <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy. The Matriarch has chosen to enact the fulfillment from this station. Then you shall not stop her. She hasn't chosen anything. You've been manipulating her from the start. She is the light. And I am merely a servant. Kind blasphemy! You may have rejected her promise. Cold clutches! you to a perilous precipice, old friend. How? Oh. It can't be. I saw you die. Form is fleeting, stubborn senselessness, before it reaps a reward. Take down the fire! He's healing the rest! Man, are we even putting a 
has a solid life insurance policy. Get him, Tiger! 
Tiger! I am trying! Yes. Destroy! I'm ready! Stay Just down. find me an opening! From justice is sweet! The Centurion is quick! And elevated! I am the Yachty! We need to take him in for a forced landing! <laughs> help is that why you shot him <laughs> oh yeah that was great right in the butt did you see the look on his face it was all like oh my gilded glutes regal rear is perfect posterior his champion cheeks Carnage brings back troubling memories of worlds I destroyed. Always wondered, what did you use to do that? Some kind of mega bombs? Rocket! Blades. My own hands. And feet. Knees. Elbows. Often my forehead. Finally, I think they're giving up. Just in time, because we're not getting back on that bridge. I know where we are. There's a road nearby that intersects the main bridge to Cosmos. Where? It should be, uh, right below us. Drax, buddy, let's make a hole. That's one way down. Best way. Look, they're still at it. At least our guy seems to be winning. Boom, baby! 
sure are destroying a lot of advertising today. I think we need another reminder to buy Calex cream. What's so special about Goldie anyway? Yeah, he's strong. But what good is strong against ridiculous, unrelenting firepower? Could you stop a turbulent ocean with your bullets? Yes. Oh, you gotta be flarkin' kidding me. Don't suppose Groot knows another side route. If I could just get to the other side, I could hack that thing and drop the bridge. If you can get to the other side, we can get to the other side, and it wouldn't matter. <sighs> Throw me. What? Throw me! Just get muscles to huck me across. Do you have any idea how far down it is if you miss? We ain't got time to argue. I'll make it. Leave this to me! Whoa! Glad that wasn't rocket! You are a valued member of this team. Not a tool to be thrown about. Worried about this ritual. And what's really gonna happen if we can't stop it? Ain't gonna be dead people coming back. Holding hands and wagging tails, that's for sure. No, more likely Magus will use the ritual's power to drain the life energies of all in attendance. And not just the ones attending. Everyone. Everywhere. Why else is this place? The Cortex can reach any corner of the galaxy. Oh yeah, definitely a doomsday scenario. It is not definite, but we will stop it. How dumb are these Flarknards to even fall for this full Flarkman garbage? Magus demands adulation, trapping you with vile illusion while feeding on your soul. I felt it in my promise too, that endless hunger. Oh yeah. Hungry is an understatement. Holy faith! All that light isn't leading to the Cortex. It is the Cortex. How could that mutt let this happen? Looks like you'll get to asking yourself. This isn't going to end well. Cosmo! We've got to get down there! Don't count him out just yet. I've seen him get out of worse scrapes. Thank <laughs> you. 
What the fuck are you doing? He's one of them now. He's our friend. And so is Drax. And I ain't going inside this fleet place. Maybe it doesn't have to come to that. Hey, buddy. Are you, uh... <laughs> It's like us. Like you. It's home. Earth is just some rock where you were born. It's not about rock. It's, it's about, about what Cosmo had on rock. Foot of bed for sleeping, belly for rubbing, collar with name. You miss being someone's property? Cosmo not property. Belong to family. Then one day, Family gone. Men in suits sent Cosmo into space. Cosmo searched many dog years for those he lost. But yet... You... had owners. It sounds like they gave you up. I lost my family too. My mom... died right in front of me when I was just a kid. Then Piotr Quill should know. Cosmo would work like dog to get family back. If they are part of this... I promise, these humans are most assuredly dead. Do not be swayed by the bribe of their return as I was. Promises almost hope too quickly. Uh, come on, Cosmo, you gotta know this doesn't smell right. Pewter Quill is right. Cosmo human have no smell. They are wicked perversions. You must bite them with all your might. Be gone! Cosmo knows that's That's it, buddy. You tell him. Nowhere is Cosmo home. His pups, his family, will protect the dog cos. Sick him, boy. Should we help him? I mean, we may need him. I am optimistic for the beast's recovery. 
Cosmos got his mission. We've got ours. Let's get to the Cortex. You think he'll be okay? He's got a thick coat. All right, I still got access codes from when me and Groot were on vacation. You mean when you quit the team? Why do you always gotta be so... Flark! Snatchers, go!